Hi Taurus, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your uh, weekly reading. This is the 8th to the 15th of uh, July 2019. You know how I do, I use several different decks for the weekly check-in reading, which I really like this reading because it's just... I just find it really interesting how it meshes everything together and I, I just like trying different styles on the channel. Anyway, hopefully it's not too dark. It's getting up to about 8 o'clock in the evening. So the UK people probably won't see this until Tuesday and the uh, Americans and people who are kind of behind the UK in timing um, will uh, will see it, you know, at a good time. So, yeah. Um, for the reading, we are using... Uh, we're doing the check-in. Check-in... Weekly check needs nine areas, all right? So for the first two areas, we look at who you are as a person in the week and the theme of the week. For that, we're using one of my newest decks. I only got this about three days ago. Tarot of the 78 Doors. Love, love, love that deck. Lascarabio. Las I can't pronounce them. Lo Scarabio. Incredible. I love their, their cards. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna use that for that area there. Uh, for the uh, key goal for the week, obstacle that you're going to need to overcome and any major accomplishments you might be making, my old mucker, Everyday Enchantment Tarot by Poppy Palin. Probably my most favourite card tarot deck of all time. Love, love, love. Can't, can't live without this in Everyday Enchantment. I just, it's just a joy to work with. So we're going to be using that for those areas there. Uh, another new deck we're using third area is the what you need to avoid for the week what to embrace and where you can find support okay and we use the universal tarot professional edition now this is a, a, a particular deck that's aimed at professional tarot readers like myself but that's nonsense anyone can use this it's just a massive massive version of the uh, universal tarot it's huge so yeah we're going to use that it's a brilliant deck for your spiritual guidance for the week, guys, we're using the Answer is Simple Oracle Cards by Sonia Choquette. Uh, amazing deck. Love that deck. Um, afterwards, we do the 15-card reading, looking at five cards for your general, anything else coming in, five cards for love for the week, and five cards for your finances and work. We use another new deck called the Pre-Raphaelite Tarot. Absolutely incredible deck. And your spiritual guidance for the week through this particular area is going to be Angels of Abundance Oracle Cards, okay, by Doreen and Grand Virtue. All right, just so you know how we do, what we're using. Okay, let's have a look then, guys. So, uh, Universe Spirit, show me who is... Um, did I call you Virgo? Because I meant Taurus. I hope that I didn't call you Virgo. It's Taurus. It's a Taurus reading. Okay, I'll have to check that out. I can't re-record that again. <laughs> it's a Taurus reading, okay? Universe Spirit for Taurus. Show me who Taurus is in the week. Who is Taurus in the week? Who is Taurus in the week? Show me Taurus. Uh, and can you show me uh, what is the theme of the week for Taurus? Show me the theme of the week for Taurus. Okay. There we go. So using that deck, we've got those out. Through the Everyday Enchantment Tarot Universe, can you show me uh, what is going to be the key goal for the week for Taurus? What will be the key goal for the week for Taurus? Okay. Uh, can you tell me what is going to be the obstacle that Taurus needs to overcome during the week? Okay. And can you tell me, Universe, what will be a major accomplishment for Taurus in the week? Okay. There we go. Um, there we go. Uh, Universe Spirit, can you show me through the professional edition of the Universal Tarot? Uh, what is it that Taurus needs to avoid this week? There's one card. Uh, can you show me uh, what is it that Taurus needs to embrace this week in one card? Uh, and can you show me, please, where can Taurus find support if it needs support? One card, show me. All right. There we go. I'm just going to get a little light on the situation here. It's looking rather dark. Uh, can I get to this? There we go. Okay. Um, and what is the spiritual advice that you have for the week for Taurus, please? What is the spiritual advice you have for the week for Taurus? Okay, Taurians, here we go. 
Taurus, you guys are in the week. Oh, wow, you're the devil. <laughs> this showed up for, um, who was it showed up for? Aquarius, I think. You're this devil here, and you're standing over two people. And I'm trying to keep the reading really short. I'm sorry, a lot of the readings are like 30 minutes plus, but I'm up against it. I've got to get these readings out tonight, and I've got to edit them and then put them up. So, unfortunately, I can't go through all the explanation that I did like I did for Aquarius. But I think that you definitely show as having dominion over others. Um, and I think that you definitely see people for who they are, but people are also exposing themselves to you. They're showing you who they are. Okay. I also feel that with this devil energy, you're definitely attracting people in. Uh, we've got them standing in that star. This looks like witchcraft, but it's not. When we talk about it in kind of everyday language, Taurus, it really is just saying that people are very attracted to your, to your presence, to your strength, to your sexiness, to your charisma, because uh, that's what the devil is. It just, it, you know, it's, it's ruled by Capricorn. Okay, but not just that, because you're Taurus, you are the sign of wealth and prosperity, you're ruled by the bull, okay, so people are going to naturally, I, I know a lot of people who naturally gravitate towards Taurians, because they, especially Taurian men, especially ones that are tall and dark and really handsome and have that gravitas, and I just get the impression whether you're a male or a female Taurus, people are really gravitating to you this week. Uh, what is the theme of the week? Uh, wow, <laughs> the world. Uh, so the theme of the week is all about achievement, accomplishment, new beginnings, birth, uh, transformation. You can see on this particular world card, a baby is being born. So there's an achievement, there's an accomplishment here with the world energy. There is a cycle of completion here in which there is now a new cycle beginning. Okay, so the baby is out. It's new life, it's new birth, a new cycle. So I feel for some of you guys, this is a week of completion and new beginnings with the uh, world energy showing there. Uh, what is the uh, what is the goal that you key goal for the week? The Ace of Cups. Again, I keep getting achievement, uh, and on this particular Ace of Cups from the um, from the Enchanted Tower, you can see these children are all holding an award. So they've, you know, I keep seeing accomplishment within the cards, accomplishment through the world, accomplishment through the Ace of Cups. They're accomplishing a victory here. They've won, the team have won an award. They've won the swimming championships. I'm seeing winning here, winning through the world, accomplishment, completion, a successful completion of a cycle, and you're entering into a new one. And also, this is new beginnings. So the key goal, I feel, for some of you guys, Torians, is to accomplish something new this week is to achieve something this week, whether this be achieving a deadline, whether it be getting an award, whether it be winning a game or winning something with the Ace of Cups energy, whether it be receiving recognition with the Ace of Cups or receiving an invite with the Ace of Cups energy, whether this be new love with the Ace of Cups energy showing up here. It's achievement. Let's have a look at what you need to, uh, what obstacle you need to overcome this week. Ah, well, that's interesting. The obstacle is that this is going to take hard work. Because <laughs> you've got the king, I mean, I mean and, and actually, that's you, isn't it, Taurus? Because king of coins is a Taurus card. That's definitely you. So the obstacle that you need to overcome is yourself. Do you know what I think here? And it's interesting because when I look at the king of coins, it depends on how you see the king of coins and what, how he's presented on a deck. This king of coins is a hard worker. He's not flash. Look at him. He's got a money bag on. His crops are good. There's no sign of money here, though, on the card. Let me have a look at him. He does... Well, no, there actually is. He's got, a, he's got money in his hand. But then he's got grains. And then, can you see? If you look carefully, he's got grains on one hand, but he's got money on the other. So it's almost like from grains, from planting the seeds, money grows money comes so there's a, a process with this card okay and i feel that the obstacle that you need to overcome taurus is that this is actually a process because the theme of the week is about completing a cycle the world energy here achievement and your goal is to achieve something here but the obstacle that you need to overcome and need to kind of get your head around taurus is that this is going to be a process because the king of coins is a process we go from the planting of the seed to the earning of the money, 
there's his bum bag or his, his money bag in front here and that's where he's planted his seeds here and that's where he's earned his money here okay so in order to get this he needs to do this and that's where the full crops come from so there's a process here and that's the obstacle you need to overcome and i think reading between the lines taurus you know you guys definitely want to achieve something there's a major goal that you really want to achieve with that world energy being the theme of the week accomplishment completion successful completion of a project a new cycle beginning the new cycle and both cards can represent birth there's a baby being born here and the ace of cups is new life and birth new beginnings new cycles there's and also both cards represent the woman has finally accomplished the birth of the child so she's really can't you know she's been successful in delivering a child so finally you know it's the final card in the major she's finally delivered the child there's an accomplishment here and there's an accomplishment here you can see the children have an award so there's definitely a week about accomplishment and i feel you guys being the devil you're showing your assertiveness to others and people it almost you know what it almost feels like to me these two people who are naked on the card taurus it, they almost look like, do you know, Stranger Things? I don't know whether, actually, I better not mention it, actually. Number, I've just finished watching season three. For those of you who haven't watched, I won't say anything. But this reminds me of mind control. But you're not doing it intentionally. It's just that you've, you're so alluring to others that people come to you. You know, people are very attracted to you this week because you have such a dominant presence about you, Taurus, that people just come as they are. You know, they don't have time to put the clothing on in the pentacle. They're just like, okay, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. What, what do you... And you know this. You know that you have such a power over others this week. Because the theme is all about you delivering something new, a new cycle, accomplishment. And your key goal is to accomplish an award. So you, some of you guys may be using your powers of seduction to do that. And people are falling for it. But the universe is saying, I'm sorry to say, Taurus, this is not going to be so easily accomplished. Because there is a process. And that's the King of Coins. Now, the King of Coins, in order to get to the top, because he is another card that represents accomplishment. So when you get the King of Coins, this is another card, like the world, that indicates you're accomplishing something major within your life. Same as the Ace of Cups energy. Okay? He's not about new cycles. He's about accomplishments. This is about accomplishment, completion, accomplishing a goal, new cycles. But they're all kind of the same thing. But the universe is saying the thing with this area here, like the world energy, fool goes to the world. So he's had to go through stages. It's the same thing with the king of coins. In order to get the healthy crops, he's got to plant the seed. And then with the healthy crops, he takes it, he sells it, and he gets the money. So from seed, growth, sell, and selling the bag here, and the money there's a process and you need to overcome the obstacle that whatever it is that you're seeking to accomplish here Taurus it's not going to come overnight because I get the impression that you're looking for something to come overnight and some of you guys I'm not saying you're going to look to cut corners but there's definitely a very dominant feel about you in this area here where it's almost like mind control like you're like come to me come to me and people are like yes Taurus yes I come I see you are Lord, blah, blah. But the universe is like, well, you're not going to get this and this this way. You know, there's a process. You've got to follow a process. So, Taurus, I just think this week, the obstacle that you need to overcome is the hard work factor. I'm not saying, Taurus is not lazy. But, you know, some of you guys, I'm not saying that you're entitled, but some of you guys think that you might be getting something easier than easier than it normally is and the universe is kind of saying well no because the obstacle that you're going to need to overcome is that you're going to go need to go from a through to z you can't go from a you know from a sorry you're going to need to go from a to b to c to d to e f g etc etc with the king of coins because it's a process you can't go from you know a a through to z it's just not possible okay uh what is it uh what is the major accomplishment though well, the Empress is the major accomplishment that you're making. So there is growth and there is expansion here happening. Now, on this Empress energy showing here, we've got this woman who is loving and supporting and nurturing her children. And But then when I see this card as well, yeah, she's got her hands out and the, the child has her hands up. 
and there's love above her head and there's flowers and the father is in the background. So you're achieving the Empress energy, which is the accomplishment that you're achieving this week with the Empress is growth. And she's actually a Taurus card as well. She's ruled by Taurus and Libra. Taurus is sign of, because she's all about the money and prosperity. So you are achieving some form of growth and expansion this week with the Empress energy showing here. Okay, there is a growth in your, and I think it, it might be recognition. It, it might also be what you're accomplishing is mentorship as well, because this is somebody who's nurturing people and others. So some of you guys might be gaining some mentorship with the Empress energy. Some of you guys, it might be that you're going under, because you, you're, go, you're going to have to go through a process to get to these areas here. It's not going to come like that, and I get the impression some of you guys think by being this, devil where people are like yes Taurus we hear you we come yes where you're assuming that you know your alluring uh, energy is just going to kind of snap you into a place where you're going to achieve what you want the universe is saying uh-uh that's not going to happen because you're going to have to go through a process like everybody else to get what you want Taurus okay but what you're accomplishing this week is the Empress energy and number threes are expansion and growth they are literally the start of a venture, but with more work that needs to be accomplished. So what you're accomplishing this week is not only the start of a venture, but you're also nurturing something. Some of you guys are accomplishing nurturing and mentorship from someone. This might be somebody who's nurturing and helping you. Or you're achieving or accomplishing some form of expansion and growth. Uh, personal growth, though, I feel, feel. But also, because it's ruled by yourself, Taurus, and Taurus is the sign of prosperity and wealth, some of you guys could be accomplishing an increase in wealth this week as well, with the Empress, which could be something entirely different too. Um, what is it you need to avoid? The emperor. This could be a person. It's funny we've got an empress and an emperor showing up here. But the emperor is somebody who likes to have um, dominion over others. Now, he's lesser than the devil energy. But he could really clash with you. Especially if you are showing as a very dominant force this week. Taurus, where people are really kind of gravitating towards your energy this week. You might be wanting to avoid someone who is uh, reluctant to do so with this Empress, Emperor energy. Somebody who has their own rules and regulations. And somebody to all intents and purposes who may want you to adhere to their way of doing things. With the Emperor energy showing here. Because this person might be putting boundaries on your growth. Sometimes when you get the Empress and the Emperor, this is not just a couple. The emperor is square. The empress expands. So what will happen with an emperor is he's going to put boundaries on the empress's growth. And especially if you're accomplishing growth in an area of your life this week, it might be you want to avoid somebody who's going to try and tamper with that, with the empress, with the emperor energy. Uh, where can, what do you need to embrace this week, Taurus? The two of coins. You're going to have to juggle a lot of things. Okay. Some of you guys are going to be really busy this week with the two of coins energy. All right. Because this is all about finding balance. But in order to find balance, you're going to have to kind of just juggle a few things. So you need to embrace the fact this week that you might be juggling with ideas or this isn't usually ideas though. It's usually practical things because it's coins. So some of you guys just need to embrace that you're going to have to be the juggler this week. Okay, so you guys need to embrace the fact that you're going to have to kind of weigh up the pros and cons of the situation with the two of coins. But more than anything, just juggle your priorities and juggle the things that you've got to do. Because some of you guys might have a lot on your plate this week with the two of coins energy. You might have responsibilities that you're going to have to juggle this week. And uh, where can you find support if you need it? Oh, wow. How can you find support from a freaking nine of swords? Um... Well, the Nine of Swords is somebody who is worried, and I don't see how anybody could find support with the Nine of Swords person. Because you can find, if you need support, you can go to the Nine of Swords for it. That's interesting that that card should show up for where you could find support. Um, the Nine of Swords, well, Swords are all about ideas, and there are a lot of kind of uh, anxiety-inducing ideas on this person's mind. This person is ill with fear. 
And I certainly wouldn't go to somebody like this for support <laughs> because this person's the effervescent warrior. They're nervous. They're a bag of nerves. Um, I don't know what to make. I'm going to clarify that and ask what it means to go to the Nine of Swords. Because it's such a negative card for me anyway, the Nine of Swords is, that I, I fail to see how you can go to somebody like this for support. Because this, if you need support, this is where you can find... But then again, it's actually where you can find support, is the Nine of Swords energy. So perhaps you can find support within uh, uh, a place that deals with people who, you know, have issues or worries or anxiety. Maybe, you, you know, you can go and get support from somebody who's, you know, can offer some form of counselling or uh, who can kind of... Um, especially if you're worried, I guess, you can go to someone who can kind of allay your worries or allay your fears. Let me just ask, what do you mean uh, if Taurus needs support, they should go to the Nine of Swords in two cards? Right, it's something to do with the family because you've got the Four of Wands energy. Uh, page of Rods. Okay, so it's saying it's about the Four of Wands, because I'm asking, well, what does it mean you should go to the Nine of Swords? It's saying, well, you should go to the two, Four of Wands and the Page of Rods. So Page of Rods is an announcement, and the Four of Wands is the home or a move. Okay, or this is maybe to somebody who has, but I, I still can't see how this card tallies. I don't see what these cards have in touch with the four, Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is classically a card about worrying. Uh, and fears but you know the number nine is reaching a place of completion so somebody who's nearly at the end of their worries so maybe you can go to someone this week Taurus who's nearly coming through a time when they have been worried maybe they've been worried about their position and maybe now with the four of wands energy maybe now they're healthier maybe they're announcing that they're they're moving or they're announcing that you know uh, they're getting married or they're announcing or they're happy with the four of wands energy or they're happy with the four of wands energy to go out there and explore life with the page of rods you know, because nines are completion, nearing completion. You're nearly at the end of a time, and the nine of swords is worrying. So it may be that you can go to someone who's practically coming to the end of a very worrying period within their life, and now with the four of rods, they're happy and they're excited to go out there and explore new adventures. So maybe you could go to someone who uh, will have a very positive effect on you because they're going from one extreme in their life where they've been down and out and worried and now you can see the change in them now they're going from one extreme to the negative to the positive and you're literally seeing this person kind of changing and transforming into something i think that this is someone who's very inspiring this seems to me in these areas here like a very inspirational individual so i feel if you need support go to somebody who can inspire you somebody who's been at a place where this because i think that amongst this reading taurus some of you guys are, are quite worried because it's saying here that uh, you are showing us the devil you're the actual the big guy and there's people who are you know, these people are very attracted to you. So this week you're showing as being a very attractive individual. People are attracted to you. You know, people are, some people are even open, opening up to you. Naked bodies on cards show people exposing stuff. You know, so I feel that you're showing as a very dominant, very attractive force this week. And I feel that the theme of the week for you guys is all about uh, accomplishing a, uh, a situation, a project, uh, it's a world energy. So the theme for the week is completion and new cycles beginning. Your goal for the week is to uh, receive an invite or to accomplish an award or to uh, to win something this week with the Ace of Cups. It's all about new beginnings and, um, you know, uh, new roads and new journeys. But more than anything, when I look at this, it looks like an award. So your key goal is to get an award or to accomplish something this week. Because we've got the new cycle card here, accomplishment, completion, uh, successful completion, accomplishment, new cycles beginning. And your key goal is to accomplish this, uh, to win at something this week, Ace of Cups energy. But the universe is saying that the obstacle you need to overcome is that this isn't going to be something that you can snap your fingers and just do it. Even if people really do find you attractive and they think that you're a good bet and you show as being a very strong individual, a very strong, charismatic, attractive individual, whether this is a new job or whatever it is for you, Taurus, the universe is saying, well, you're going to need to overcome yourself. The obstacle you need to overcome is yourself. Okay, Taurus, the king of coins. What I'm saying here is the obstacle you need to overcome is you can't go from A through to Z. 
you're going to have to go to A to B to C to D to E because there's a process here. One is that you lay down the groundwork, you put the seeds into the ground, then you see things flourish as a result of your hard work, and then when you see that, you're able to sell it and get the money. Okay, so there's reward for hard work, and you're going to have to follow that process. It's not going to be something that you can click your fingers and you'll be there already. It's not going to happen. Uh, what you could be accomplishing this week is the Empress, which is growth. And this is personal growth, okay? And it might be actually the accomplishment with this Empress, because Empress is one of your ruling uh, majors, because it's ruled uh, by Taurus as well as Libra. Uh, you might be experiencing or accomplishing growth in terms of how you value people with the Empress energy. And I'm not saying that with this devil energy that, that you don't value people. But I get the impression that because you show as being the devil here, it's almost like you're expecting something here. Because you're so attractive and alluring to others, Taurus, you're expecting them to react to you in a, in a certain way. So that you can kind of get what you want in these areas here. But I think that the universe is saying, well, no. The obstacle is, is that you yourself... Which is your own kind of, and the, the, you know, desires. But also, just looking at the picture of the car, the obstacle you're going to need to overcome is that this is going to take a longer time than you thought because of the process. There's a reason why he's called the King of Coins, because he went through a process to get to where he is. And what you could be achieving in terms of that is self-value, self-love. So, the accomplishment for the week is that you are starting to expand and when we talk about expand, it's more about learning and learning about the value of interpersonal relationships in order to build this thing, in order to gain reward with the Ace of Cups and the world energy. What you might be accomplishing this week is a sense of expanded value, not just for who you are, but more than anything for who other people are and what roles they actually play within your life. It's not all about you, Taurus, not being horrible. But if this resonates with you, it's not all about you and, and, and kind of putting on this, this face or this persona to people and expecting them just to adhere to it and kind of just to say, yeah, yeah, that's Taurus there. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Let's, let's give them this. Let's give them that. It's more about saying, well, I've got to earn it. I've got to earn people's love with the Empress energy by nurturing them, by showing kindness, by showing in interest so i think that what you're kind of accomplishing is a sense of value real value for the idea of nurturing and caring about people and self-development with the empress energy and developing relationships with people here as a way to accomplish the rewards that you want rather than thinking it's just going to come to you because of what you represent if that makes any sense um what you want to avoid is somebody who's going to kind of hinder you the emperor so this person's going to reel in your expansion so just as you're starting to learn what it's going to take to get the awards and the rewards that you're looking for besides there being hard work involved what you need to avoid is somebody who's going to put boundaries on your expansion because this person will have their own ideas and if they put that onto you just as you're going through the learning process of the empress it could take you back 10 years you know it could take you to this and you're starting to learn something else. So you need to avoid somebody who can do that. That could be a friend. It could be somebody who's just... Because the emperor is very set in his ways. So just as you're starting to grow as an individual this week and understand what it takes to accomplish what you want, this person could come in and kind of just completely uh, limit your expansion in terms of how you're growing and how you're seeing things and what you're learning. Uh, what you need to embrace is that... There's lots of work involved. You're going to have to juggle many things with the Two of Coins energy. You're going to have to make compromises to get these rewards and to get what you want. Uh, and if you need support, go to someone who has now come to the end of a very kind of trying time. And this person is now kind of going out there, Four of Wands energy, and exploring life. And they're happy to now explore and uh, you know, get adventures, but they had to go through a very trying time as well, as well before they actually got to this place too. What is the spiritual advice for the week? Turn on the light. Don't be uh, governed by your ego. Be governed by your spirit this week, okay? Don't let your ego, devil energy, guide you. 
allow your spirit empress energy to guide you this week okay uh let's do a quick 15 card reading it's getting really dark so uh we're gonna not gonna rush it but that was a lovely reading very very good reading indeed okay Taurus. let's quickly oh it's getting down to 12 i'm, I'm definitely going to be uploading these really late for the last four sides i really don't like it when i do that but because it's you know recording these videos you know i'm not really interested in doing a half-ass job on the on the youtube videos that's just not me uh, I, I, I'm just the type that is, likes to be quite thorough in what I present. Okay, so Universe Spirit, can you show me? Let's see if this comes back into... I can see that... Okay, that's fine. It went out of focus for a moment. Universe Spirit, show me five cards, other energies coming in for Taurus this week. Show me other energies coming in for Taurus. So in five cards, one, two, uh, one, two, three, uh, four and five show me love well oh, that's looks hang on a minute let's move this here i need to move these cards down here as well okay one two three four and five show me love for taurus remember this is a general reading guys so some of it will correlate some of it not five cards for love for taurus for the week okay there we go And five cards for um, five cards for uh, work and finance for Taurus. All right, let's have a look. So, other energies coming in Taurus. We've got uh, three of wands. So this is about reaching out to others. This could be reaching out and getting in contact with people for business purposes. So this is all about forming business partnerships. But three of wands, for some of you guys, you're looking ahead with the three of wands energy. You might be waiting for something to come in with the three of wands energy. Some of you guys might be thinking about going abroad or contacting somebody from abroad with the three of wands. Okay, nine of cups energy. So the nine of cups is all about wish fulfillment getting what we want it's about emotional satisfaction and contentment as well some of you guys i think with the three of wands looking outside of the nine of cups what this kind of reminds me of and there's two things that i'm thinking of with this card um can you see that look at that can you see this can you see his hand see how his hand is out to the woman he's like i love you come to me and she's like no I, I've got other things, I've got other things I want to do, or other people I want to see. So some of you this week, Taurus, there's somebody around you who might be interested, and they may want you, or it could be vice versa, but I get the impression that some, it's either you or the other person. So if this is you, the three of wands, there's somebody around you, behind you, who wants you, the hand is still being held out to you, but some of you are kind of like, you know what, I haven't got time for this, I'm looking for something else, and if this is you then somebody's looking outside of the relationship. They're, they're, they're getting bored because this is a really like, Nine of Cups is an emotionally contented relationship. But the Three of Wands is restless, wants a bit of excitement. So either way, uh, some of you guys, whether it's you or whether it's the other person, somebody's feeling restless in a relationship, they want more. I think if this is work or something like that or just the humdrum of daily life of the Nine of Cups, some of you guys are so used to kind of having everything but I think that, again, it's saying this week some of you guys really want more from life than what you actually have at the moment. What you have for some of you guys is okay, but I see you really wanting more. Some of you guys might be also be attracting in three of wands energy, something really good, a wish being fulfilled, nine of cups this week. What else have we got? Uh, we've got the four of wands. So four of wands is all about good news, happiness, joy, marriage, relationships, security and stability with the four of wands energy showing up here. Ace of Wands. So Ace of Wands is a new beginning. Four of Wands. So some of you guys could be looking at a house move with the Four of Wands energy and the Ace of Wands. Some of you guys might be looking to go on holiday as well because the Ace of Wands is a new beginning. This could be a house, home. So new beginning. Four of Wands, house, home. Ace of Wands, new beginnings. What else have we got here? Seven of Cups, options being open and available. So some of you guys are probably with the Seven of Cups considering a new beginning. Or in terms of your homes, there's a new beginning that you're looking at here, but you're considering your options. There's lots of options available to you for change this week. Ace of Wands is all about pure force, 
within the hand so forcefulness as well okay but i don't get forcefulness with this i just feel that you are holding on to a new beginning here with the ace of wands energy and there's lots of options around you this week for that okay especially in terms of a house move or maybe a job move or something like that with the four of wands energy i'm getting also here three of wands you guys looking outside of the nine of cups so it's almost like yeah you're okay you're doing okay in life but you want more all right so i'm just getting with the change card showing up three of wands Ace of Wands, the consideration of the Seven of Cups and something to do with your home, uh, something to do with your job, something to do with your security. But, you know, and the Nine of Cups is contentment, the Four of Wands is security. So though some of you guys are happy and you're secure, you want more with that Three of Wands energy. And therefore, some of you guys are looking at your options for change this week as well. I'm seeing you guys really feeling kind of really happy and settled in what you're doing, but you're kind of like, there's more out there for me as well. Let's have a look at love. Right, we've got a queen of coins, could be you Taurus, uh, could also be a fellow um, earth sign, could be a black person, dark skinned individual as well with the queen of coins, a foreigner with the queen of coins energy potentially, but then it depends on where you come from, we can't use the word foreigner really, this could be a dark haired person, dark skinned person, uh, Mediterranean person, queen of coins energy showing up here as well, uh, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn individual, earth sign potentially, business individual, queen of coins energy, um what is this is that the page of swords let me have a look queen of swords we've got two queens showing up here so there might be a little bit of discord between two females in love this could be you taurus and another female queen of swords energy discord between two friends uh king of swords as well i'm seeing discord between you and another female it's concerning a male King of Swords energy. There's a lot of people involved in this. All court cards. Uh, nine, six of Wands energy. This man uh, with the Six of Wands energy. If you look at the Six of Wands energy here. I mean I don't really like this version of the Six of Wands. Because even though it's a card of success and arrogance and all of those things. It shows a woman on a card on the, on the horse that looks like really she's lacking confidence. It pisses me off a bit the way that they drew that card. I don't really like it. But um, let me have a look at this. I, I just hate the way they drew the six because when I see uh, uh, pictures, the illustrations, I, I go by illustrations. I'm going to just go by the meaning of the card. I'm getting the impression that there is discord between you and an individual, uh, Taurus, especially if you're a female. It's over a man. Six of Wands is success, but it's also arrogance. I get the impression that this man, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius male, but this man is emotionally, he's not emotionally connected. I don't think he's emotionally connected to either of you, okay? I think that both of you are definitely thinking about this individual. Uh, for you, Taurus, I think that you have been looking at the commitment. You've been wanting to settle down with this individual. That might even be your partner. For this Queen of Swords energy, she's kind of... Can you see how she's got her hand on the sword? She's been saying, looking at doing... I, don't, I just get... I don't like this Queen of Swords. She looks like she's looking to do real harm, Okay? Uh, and he looks like he's about to protect himself. Can you see how those swords are? If I pick both of them up and I look at them, she's got her sword out, but he's got his sword against her, and he's kind of like, I'm not listening to you. She wants him to listen. Can you look how wistfully she looks? She wants him to listen to what she's got to say. She wants to have it out, but he's like, I'm not listening. So you might be the other woman or the other man or something like that, Taurus, but I'm getting two opposing females, you and somebody else, and there's a man sitting in here. He looks to me with the Six of Wands to be quite arrogant as well, uh, showing up with that Six of Wands energy showing there. Ace of Swords. He's arrogant and non-committal, I think. I think you've got a man here who's arrogant with the Six of Wands and non-committal with the Eight of Swords showing up. So in love, it's a bit of a mess for some of you Taurians because you and another female, it would seem... How are at end, odds and ends, you've got problems and you've got your backs turned to each other as well. Look, you're here and this person's here, backs are turned to each other. So you don't like another female, you're in another female problems. You might not even be speaking at all this week, but there's a man involved, he's arrogant and he's non committal. If this resonates with you, I wouldn't even bloody waste your time, he looks like an arsehole. Uh, let's have a look finally at your work and career money. Okay, so star healing. Uh, goals being achieved with the star energy. Also, if this is work, stars also mean recognition. People are putting you on a pedestal. 
Uh, Ten of Wands in the reverse. Some of you guys, I feel, uh, in terms of money, there's healing. You're overcoming some struggles with the Ten of Wands in the reverse financially. I feel if it's work, some of you guys are being applauded and praised for actually being able to overcome some problem or get rid of a problem maybe in the in the workplace. You're being achieved, you know, applauded for your for your abilities or something like that. Let's have a look at the Eight of Cups energy. So Eight of Cups is seeking new opportunities. So I feel that there's healing occurring this week in terms of I think that two things really uh, number one is if it's work I certainly feel that there's healing occurring here and this is on a personal level for you Taurus because I feel that you're getting rid of some dead wood with the ten of wands in the reverse some of you guys seeking new opportunity you've just made a decision actually I'm going to start seeking something else I don't want to be in this job so I'm getting that you guys are looking to move jobs you're, you're not interested in staying in a particular job anymore okay and that's how you're getting rid of the deadwood if it's a financial thing I'm certainly seeing light at the end of the tunnel getting rid of maybe some debts with the ten of wands in the reverse maybe you're doing this by seeking you know advice with the eight of cups or looking for a financial opportunity in which you can do that with the ten of wands in the reverse uh let's have a look uh you've got the high priestess so high priestess is you can see the book is open so there's a revelation there's information so some of you guys are probably seeking information from a high priestess this would be somebody who can give you information that's not readily available maybe on the internet that type of thing it's she's an oracle of hidden information so if it's finances some of you guys are hopeful that you can overcome or get rid of some debt here probably with the ten of wands in the reverse here by seeking information here with the high priestess energy again if it's a job the star energy you know hopeful getting rid of like a big weight on your shoulders in terms of a job seeking again information information about a job a high priestess energy showing up here yeah chariot moving forward in which you can take control of a situation as well. So I think if it's finances, Taurus, hopeful, getting rid of debt, seeking hidden information that allows you to take control, chariot of your finances. If it's a job, again, hopeful, you can get rid of a, you know, a big kind of strain on you in terms of the work that you do you're seeking information from a high priestess somebody who holds a lot of knowledge in terms of what employment what opportunities are out there uh especially in, you know so that you can move on and move forward with the chariot energy very very good reading guys quickly 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 we're going to do your spiritual guidance for the week what's the spiritual guidance you have for the week for taurus okay oh my god what are all these cards Oh, right, okay, I'm going to have to take them, they all jumped out. So firstly, take a divinely guided chance, all right? So all positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk, which I think is what you're doing here, okay? Uh, and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. So you're following divine guidance. To me, that's kind of somebody who holds a lot of information on what opportunities are there. Uh, as you have, as you leave behind... That which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for a new, more meaningful opportunity. Certainly, I think that goes on with your work reading showing there. Let go of guilt is next. Showing up. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. It's telling you to organise this for success this week. Do not let the word organise intimidate you <clears throat> as it simply is a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organising your thoughts, your reports, your living, your workspace and your finances will help you know and plan your next day. Well, you're certainly organising those finances. You guys want to get rid of debt, some of you guys, big burdens. Following guidance, getting some guidance, getting information here so you can kind of take control and move forward. So you're certainly doing that in that area. And finally, a gratitude list uh, saying counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centered in your heart. Instead of fixated on worries in your mind, what and who are your, you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of this universe. There you go, guys. Uh, like I say, thanks ever so much for joining me. If you'd like a private reading, just go to the link in the comments section below. Besides that, thanks for your time, guys, and have a great day. Great week. Take care. Bye-bye.